Oh, hi, my name is Sean Humphreys, lead trainer with Take Charge of Change. I really do think that circuit training with weights is the proverbial fountain of youth. Um, and I, I feel that way because it's probably one of the most efficient ways of consistently getting a workout in without it taking a lot of time. And it's the kind of workout that hits all the major systems of the body. So whether we think about strength, our aerobic capacity, um, just getting the blood flowing, uh, circuit training can be a wonderful, uh, wonderful way to work out. And the nice thing about circuit training is it doesn't take a lot of equipment. You can do it at home. Uh, you can do it when you're on the road. And so what I've done in this video is I've prepared a very short overview on a circuit that I do on a regular basis. It's not difficult to do. And so I'm going to walk you through the different exercises in the circuit. And um, I did it one day when I was at a hotel on a business trip. The video quality isn't all that great, but I think you get the basic idea of the circuit. And hopefully you'll find it uh, helpful. Uh, again, you want to be careful before you engage in any exercise program. Make sure you consult with your physician or doctor so that uh, you're healthy and ready to go with this kind of uh, uh, fitness or exercise regime. But once you get that okay, take a look at this program, test it out, try it out, experiment. Take it slow at first, use light weights, make sure you warm up properly and have a warm down. And um, like I said, it's an exercise program that uh, you can fit in very, very easily, even for the busiest of us. I found that uh, by doing this program uh, two to three times a week for about 20 minutes each time, it's a great overall workout and it has allowed me to keep on um, a real, a good level of lean muscle mass. So enjoy the presentation. You know, for many of us, getting a workout in during the week is a real challenge. We have busy schedules, lots of them on our plate, and yet we know at least at some level, that exercise on a regular basis is a very important thing to do. So what I want to do is I want to spend just a few minutes talking about a, a quick exercise routine that I think almost anyone can sort of fit into their schedule. Um, this routine can be done three times a week for about 20 minutes, and what it is is a circuit routine using dumbbells and bodyweight exercises. And um, if you do it three times a week, it'll take about 20 minutes, and it'll hit some of the major energy systems in your body. So it'll hit your aerobic system, to increase your aerobic capacity in the fitness mat area. It'll hit your muscles so you can keep on some lean body mass and it'll generally increase your metabolism, uh, which will help with fat burning and just the overall generally better health. Now, I'm going to be using dumbbells, and one of the reasons for dumbbells is that they're very versatile. You can use dumbbells, you can use, um, you can use bricks, you can use books, you can use all kinds of things, and you can improvise, but we'll use dumbbells. And I'll walk you through each of the exercises, and uh, like I said, as you go through one routine and one circuit, we'll stop, and the idea is then is to build in additional circuits. Ideally, at least three circuits, and like I said, the routine will take about 20 minutes to get through. The end result is, for more lean muscle mass, better aerobic engine, very time efficient, and increase your metabolism. So, the first place we'll start, and what I would encourage you to do is, before you do the exercise, there's a few warm-up exercises we can do before we get into the circuit. So those warm-up warm -up exercises will include the following. Good old jumping jacks. I think most of us have done that at one time in our life or another. So we'll do a few jumping jacks. So if you do about 20 jumping jacks, it's exceptional. Start warming up your body, getting you ready for the workout. And of course, jumping jacks will also integrate into the circuits. It's part of the overall circuit routine. Okay, so you keep doing that until you're warmed up. The first exercise is good old push-ups. And what I've done here is I've taken the dumbbells, and uh, the advantage of using the dumbbells is it raises you up a little bit on the push-up, increases the extension of the push-up. And for those of you that have wrists that are a little bit arthritic, arthritic and you're not able to do the regular push-ups, it allows you to grab the dumbbell and get down. And you can improvise a little bit. So I'm going to do a regular push-up, and then we'll improvise to something that's a little bit more easy. So regular push-up, grab the dumbbell, and just go down. And you want to do this two, three, try to do at least 10 times. Nice and slow. And 10. Now, if you can't do a regular push-up, what you can do is just go on your knees, same position, and just gently down. A little bit easier. So try to work yourself up to 10 of those. 
As soon as you've done that particular exercise, the next one we'll do is we'll hit our back. So chest for the push-up. The back, what we'll do is lateral raises. So what you want to do is grab the dumbbell, bend over a little bit, and keep in mind, I'm using 25-pound dumbbells. You can use 5-pound dumbbells, 10-pound dumbbells. Find a weight that's good for you so you can do the exercise. And then reverse raises this way. And this will fatigue your lat muscles. With very big muscles on your back. So try to do this upwards of 10 times. No more is needed. As soon as you get to 10, pull over your side, keep your back bent, and just pull up. Just using your lat muscles, your back muscles. Your muscle right in here. Try to do that at least 10 times. Now, when you go through the routine, you want to do it in succession. Um, the next exercise, and I'm already, already breathing hard, the next exercise is a compound movement. Probably one of the best exercises in the circuit. What we're going to do is an exercise that's a combination of a deadlift, a press, and then back down. So what you want to do is you want to grab the dumbbells, you want to do a lift, just like this, and then push up, down, another lift, push up, and keep doing that for at least 10. For some of you, you may not even want to use weight. So you can start without weight, and just go down, movement, up, just introduce weights. So get your back, your shoulders, your arms, Keep doing that at least 10 times. Okay. Now, we'll keep the exercise circuit going. We're going to throw in some jumping jacks at this point. Do at least 20. So 10, 11, Okay, the next movement is what's sometimes referred to as a kettlebell swing. And I'm going to give it to you on two angles so you can see visually how to do this movement. Start with a lightweight. And the idea is to take the dumbbell and swing it up, right there like this. And what you want to do is swing with your hips. You're letting the dumbbell drop, do a very slow, controlled movement but it's a total body exercise. So again, I'll show you from the side angle. So you want to swing with your hips. And down. So you want to try to do that at least 10, ideally 15 times. So that first sequence of exercises basically work your chest, your back, your legs, shoulders, your arms. The next ones I want to show you are basically leg exercises. The first one I want you to do is what I call air squats. You don't need any weight. Your feet about shoulder width apart. And you're doing little squat, squats. You're going down like this. Now, when you do a squat, you want to make sure that you're keeping your weight as much as possible on your heels when you go down. And then back up. Use your arms to swing and back up. Now, for some of you who haven't done squats for a while, just take it very slow, very easy. You may even want to have a bench behind you. You may not be able to do a full squat all the way down. The idea though is to try to work up to that. So you may want a bench to support you, go down a little bit, maybe have a chair on either side, and practice the squat. So once you can master the squat, you want to do 20 air squats. Just like this. Keep doing them until so you get 20 nice controlled air squats. Great full body exercise. Great for your metabolism and perfect for your legs. It give you good functional strength. Okay, now another 
leg exercise, which, again, if you're doing it for the first time, try to get maybe a chair or something you can balance on, balance yourself with on either side. These are called lunges. So you can have something balanced on this side, and you do a forward lunge, I'll do both angles. So basically, you're going forward, knee down, and back up. Down, back up. You want to try to do at least 10 of these in succession. Set it side angle. Now, take some balance. And again, I recommend this if you're new to this movement, you want to make sure you have a chair or a bench you can hang on to. Okay. Now the next series of movements are designed to strengthen your lower legs and just to keep your heart rate going. The first one we'll do is just hops. So we'll do 10 of these. You can do at least 10 to 20 hops. Once you hit 10, I'm going to put a little more pressure on the leg, make it a little tougher by hopping on one foot. So we'll do five. The other foot. Back to both feet. Then you can introduce some jumping jacks again. And then some shuffle steps. Now, once we've done this routine, try to do at least 10 to 20 of each of these movements in unison with succession. And then the final move is to try to strengthen our core. A great core exercise is a plank. And at the plank, actually I'll show it from this angle. You want to go on your elbows, swing your leg. Try to keep your rear end down and hold this position for at least 10 seconds, 30 seconds. One variation is you can lift one foot once you are comfortable with the movement. And then you can follow it up with jackknife. The jackknife movement hard to do, uh, what you can do initially is do traditional crunches, but you want to follow it up with jackknife, extend the arms, and the left of the toes, your feet at the same time, and up. It's a great strengthening exercise for your abdominal. There you have it. Um, that one simple routine. If you do that three times a week, do at least 10 reps of each of those exercises, do three sets of that routine. It's a great total workout. So if you're time crunched, you're trying to get a workout in, try it out. Try different dumbbell weights. You can do a lot of these exercises without the dumbbells. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to try it out. Do a cardiovascular workout, build some muscular strength, and increase your metabolism. I hope you found the presentation helpful. Well, like I said, I hope you found the presentation helpful. It's a, it's a great full body exercise and uh, easy to do um, in the convenience of your home. It doesn't take a lot of equipment and you get all the major systems. So thanks for the ta taking the time to view the presentation. If you'd like more information about uh, the different programs and services of Take Charge of Change, don't hesitate to visit our website at www.takechargeofchange.com. We offer uh, programs for both individuals and organizations to build uh, both personal and organizational resiliency. So again, thanks for taking the time.